We've just arrived at our beautiful hotel room here in Melbourne. Josh is still down at the Flemington Showgrounds just helping finishing set up the last couple of things with the car and the bike and then he'll be back here soon but I've come in here and it is just beautiful. Everything like every last little detail in here like has been so well thought through. This is quite a relatively new hotel so everything's very modern and just fresh and clean. It's so nice but I've got someone else here with me. <laughs> there she is. This is a pet friendly hotel. So Georgia was greeted with a beautiful little gift uh, when we come in. <clears throat> she's just having a rest down here. George, no, she's out. She's so exhausted. She's been in the car pretty much all day, like driving from where we've left our van and then just chilling at the show while we were finishing picking up a few things. But I think she'll be glad to have a nice big sleep tonight. But yeah, when we walked in, there was a beautiful gift for her. There were some fresh bowls, one for food, one for water. And then she had a beautiful dog bed. And there's a little box there as well. But we haven't, she's had a really good sniff of it. But we haven't opened it yet. We're going to leave that one uh, until Josh gets back and we can open it with him. But we're super excited to have this as a base while we're here for the show for the week. And we can't wait to use like all the facilities here at the hotel as well. Like there's a pool, there's a gym. So we'll definitely be making the most of that while we're here. Here we go. I thought it was like a shoebox or something. <laughs> yes. What have you got? You got a present. You've... She's been waiting for me to come home. I've just rocked up. Oh, I didn't want to I open, it. open it. God, this is... <laughs> Christmas. I can't. Must you gotta, I don't know how to open it. Just flick that bit out. Oh. There you go. All right, ready? <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh, how cute wow. is that? Oh, wow. We've got a chew, a chew toy. Okay. Some treats. And, and some bags. Of course, some poo <laughs> bags. Of course. How good is that? Some treats. So freaking lucky. You're so lucky. Well, check this out. I'm currently standing up on top of the Ram 1500 here. They're about to start up uh, George's race cars here. So I've got a couple of couple of the quickest drag cars in Australia here on display here. So of course you wanted to make a bit of noise and fire it up. But check out the uh, check out the crowd we got behind us here. It's absolutely massive. So I got a nice uh, bird's eye view uh, to get a good shot of this thing. freaking awesome that was uh it was so freaking loud inside this bloody tin shed but uh that was cool real real a lot of people in just doing something different uh again uh, these guys are one standard of the year this year so it's uh pretty cool to get a bit insane and do a bit a little bit differently bring a bit of motorsports uh into it as well but uh that was freaking cool well i am so excited to show you everything that i've got going on behind me here we've just come back after a big shopping spree in melbourne we've bought all new stuff for our van we just wanted everything to be fresh and new and just start fresh in the new van basically so georgia as you know normally has this whole back row to herself all she's had is this tiny little square because not only are the seats next to her full but the back is also full so now we're back we're going to unload everything and we'll show you everything that we've bought well we've been and visited our good friends at navigator so we've been running their stuff for a couple of years now and he has hooked us up so we know exactly what we want what we don't sort of need now so i've uh, got a couple of new things in here though as well though we've been uh Got a, it's a nice little uh, nice little mat here. It's gonna be called the Muddy Buddy. So this is gonna be coming out, I don't know, probably uh, probably a couple of weeks after this video. I'm not sure when this video is gonna come out, but I've been really wanting to have the gray and the black. These guys have had these uh, in the works for ages uh, with the gray and black color. So, so bloody excited for that. Uh, we've got new chairs. Uh, what else we got in here just quickly? I've uh, got a couple of bags here. So this is gonna be our electrical cables. Uh, we're doing a few little, I love my salvage bags for the tunnel boot. My tunnel boot is just full of them, but I've sort of had some different ideas of some uh, more things I'm going to put in here with the car as well. Just keeps everything so tidy, so organized. Uh, what do we have in here? The car is literally packed. I've got another wheel, uh, wheel buddy. I've got one on there at the moment, so I didn't really even need this. It's kind of like, because we sort of visit each other not that often, it's like you might need this down the track. So we've got another one there. Um, man, there's so much stuff in here. 
What even is this? Flip stools. Oh, that's a flip stool. Sorry, yeah. We got two. Uh, we use two flip stools each. We use that for. What do we use it for? Like when I have my morning coffee, I have it there. Sometimes I sit the laptop on it. If you have people over, they sit on the stools. Uh, we eat dinner off them. The rest of our drinks on there. Them. Put our legs up. Uh, all that sort of stuff. So we use the stools. We have got one stool each. Uh, I need to try and get this stuff off here. What else we got? Uh, dog seat buddy. So George has got a new uh, new dog seat buddy. Absolutely friggin' love that thing. We've had the art last one for ages. So Georgia gets a fresh one. And then we've got sellage bags here for our hoses. Sellage hose. I bought a new sellage hose in here somewhere as well. What else we got? Uh, TV transit buddy. So our 32 inch smart TV. There's a big and small one there. So that goes into that. We pack that up and put it on the bed. So it's pretty windy. My car's got a new big. I'm looking at it. It's like I can't even see its face. It's like this big fluffy thing. Dead, it's got a dead mouse. A dead mouse. <laughs> dead mouse? That goes over the camera there. So really windy around here where we're staying. So. Uh, jockey wheel buddy, so I've got one. I'm gonna put my chainsaw in one of these and we've got the boss uh, The boss jack now as well, so it's gonna fit into that bloody beautiful. So I'm really excited for that Let's pull out what else we got here uh, So we've got a stool. Uh, it's just a uh, RV step. So that's the cover for it. The stools are there somewhere I've got a new shovel. Uh, so we use this generally because the van can sit pretty high depending on what sort of angle on and then also Michaela uses to get into the back of the uh well, back of the fridge and stuff here. I'm really short, so when the airbags are up really high, I yeah, need to be able to get in the yeah. van. Sometimes the van's got to be jacked up like that a little bit. There's my step there. Stoked with that. Uh, and we got, what's that? Uh, this is the uh, the bag we use for our uh, for our sea gear mat down here, so we can roll that up there. So if you got even annex walls or whatever, pop it in there. Really, really love this thing. And we've got two chairs in there, so. I think there's some more stuff in the car as well, but that's the boot unloaded. Heaps more in the car. <laughs> I started on this side. I'm pretty excited about this. I bought a 300 watt uh, solar blanket. So I've got the two kick-ass solar panels over here that I've been using for a while. Absolutely freaking awesome. I get probably 16, 17 amps out of uh, each one of them. Been amazing, but they are, they're big and heavy. They're big and heavy and I don't know. I just it's, something's got to go. I've been having one in the one in the wood cage, one under the bed. But it's just it's a lot of room, a lot of a uh, lot of weight, a lot of space, just everything. So the best thing I could found, I got this from uh, Anaconda. I think it was about seven hundred bucks. I signed up as a club member. But I got it gave me like three hundred bucks off. So uh, it was about seven hundred bucks. I bought one just to try it out. I'm going to get another one as well. That's the plan. Uh, two of these and uh, ends up being the same weight as one of them. So it's going to save us quite a fair bit of weight. Being a, going to a, back to a blanket, obviously not going to be able to angle and stuff for the sun, but I sort of want to see, you can sort of get that 15 amps out of these. So I'm sort of, if I can get 15, if I can get 30 amps out of two of these, I'm going to be friggin' stoked. So it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome uh, space saver, weight saver, but I'm uh, excited to plug these in and sort of see how it goes. But in here as well, we've got a Weber, which I'm going to pull out. So uh, I've got a Weber in there and I have to keep digging. i got my rake head, which can go on my shovel. This stuff is super, super lightweight. Uh, we've got a collapsible uh, wine buddy, so we usually put our uh, coffee cups and stuff in this inside of our drawer, which I'm sure Michaela will, will show you guys that. Uh, we've got our trailer plug and shower head buddy. I come up with this idea for the to put your shower head in there. Uh, you can also put it over your trail plug as well. But I do also have the tow hitch buddy as well, which uh, goes over the, all the leads at the front, so it protects it from um, dirt, water, all your plugs, that stuff. If you're on the beach, uh, absolutely awesome there. What else we got? Two dog leads for Georgia. A uh, little awning strap buddy. I bought a new Sully Toes. I bought that from Anaconda as well. Got a lot of the Weber stuff in there. And then we've got a um, little thing there that Mikhail's really excited to talk about as well. All right, I thought I'd just set myself up here so I can show you with both hands all the goodies that are in this box. So this is for Georgia. I'm sure you've seen her all over the Navigator and Vetna Van's Instagram. So Vetna Van is Tanya. She was a vet from Melbourne and her and her family decided to pack up and caravan around Australia. So I just think that is absolutely awesome. She's working on the road. We were lucky enough to meet Dr. Tanya up in Broome. Uh, Georgia was due for her vaccination. So Georgia got that done up there. And it's just awesome what she does. Like you can book phone consultations with her and also being traveling, like she understands what kind of um, you know environments and all that you're in so I just think it's really awesome what she's doing traveling around Australia and also being able to still do her job which she loves and enjoy it with her family so let's get into this box 
Georgia is just right down at my feet down here. Also, I just want to say this is probably something that we should have had for such a long time now. Like, I think we're really silly for not having it. Obviously, we have a first aid kit for ourselves, but we should really have a first aid kit for our dog who literally is like our baby to us. Like, she means everything to us and I would just feel absolutely mortified, sick to my stomach, like if anything were to ever happen to her because we were unprepared. So I'm so glad now that we have this. We've got a little thermometer, a little tick twister. That is something I'm always so paranoid about with Georgia because being a golden retriever with her long hair, it would be impossible to try and find a tick. We've got, I think in here, some saline. Or are they syringes? Are they little syringes? And what else have we got? There's some scissors and tweezers at the front here and a notebook, like so as any first aid kit does, it has a notebook in there. We've got gloves. Um, what else did I, oh, it opens right up. Got some tape in here, bandages. And we've got gloves, I think I already said that. We've got more syringes, I think, yep, there's saline. And something else that I love, Georgia has this usually all the time anyway. This is EpiOptic. It's an ear cleaner. So if they have an ear infection, this is usually what the vets prescribe, but they have it at pet shops anyway. Georgia being a golden retriever and a long-haired, long-eared dog, she does quite often need this in her ears just to give it a clean out. A lot of dog groomers also uh, offer this with, with their grooming ear cleaning if they think it's necessary. So that's something that will definitely be getting a workout and probably needing replaced quite often. So that is the first aid kit. I'm so excited that we have this. I'm so glad that we have this now. And if you're traveling with your four-legged friend or four-legged friends or fur babies, I think this is definitely something that you need to add into your kit, into your caravan, into your car, into your first aid kit. Uh, it's definitely a necessity. So I'm really excited. I hope we never have to use it but it's definitely something that I'm glad we have for just in case of emergencies. We're on the road with our brand new van. It's, it's maiden voyage. We're on our way to Beechworth for the Lotus Gathering meetup. And there are a heap of other lotuses on the highway on our way up there now. Yeah, so we've got a bit, got a bit of epic, uh, epic convoy. We've got a couple of brand new vans on the trucks. We've got uh, the big off limits there. So we've got, uh, got everyone cruising down. So it's going to be awesome, awesome weekend. I'm excited to see this caravan park out here. It's meant to be it's on, a, on a lake, lake, lake yeah. at Beechworth. So weather's perfect. It's like 29, 30 degrees. I'm just excited to pull up. We haven't even put the awning out in this thing yet. So we haven't. We haven't driven any further than 30, 30 minutes, so this is its first drive. It's friggin' so stoked of everything. Beautiful day. I'm just excited for a uh, relaxing weekend. Uh, we don't get to see this, these guys and some other owners that maybe perhaps just once a year, really. Yeah. So mega keen, uh, mega keen to do that. And I think it's going to be a pretty big, uh, pretty big turnout. Well, it's been a bloody amazing weekend so far down here at Beechworth. We're staying at Lake Sam Bell, it's called. So it's an absolute wicked caravan park uh, on the water here, just outside of Beechworth. We're literally five minutes me and Mikhail went into went into the gym this morning I uh, did a bit of uh, morning routine bit of uh, rehab on my knee got an awesome uh, spot beside us beside us here so it's so awesome seeing so many other Lotus caravans on it there's like there's 50 60 plus vans uh, easily easily so there's um there's powered sites down the bottom we're up here in the unpowered sites anywhere from that sort of 30 to 45 dollars a night unpowered or powered uh, it's been absolutely wicked last time I had a Absolute amazing feed, it's a band, everyone's sort of sitting around having a good time, looking out over the water here, it's just an absolute, the weather here has just been turning on so, so freaking much, so it's awesome to experience this beautiful weather while we're down here, not too far from Melbourne. This is our sort of first, oh, well this is our first, I guess, uh, trip uh, in the new van, it's been bloody, bloody awesome down here, so I've been trying to start, I've got my little things I'm messing around with, I've got some different solar panels. Uh, obviously, we've got the new uh, new solar panels, more solar panels on the roof. I've got a few different internet systems. I've got uh, I've got Starlink. I've had for about a month now. Uh, I've sort of been testing that everywhere I go. I've got the out the internet kit as well. Use that for 12 months, and I've got that on the new van 100%. And look, so far, I'm not. I'm going to do a bit more of a video. I've sort of everywhere I'm going, I'm doing doing different tests and just trying different, uh, you know, different 
different spots with tree cover, all that sort of stuff, because Starling's sort of really sensitive to that. And so far, I'm really not happy with it at all, pretty much. I've got it turned off at the moment. I'll just keep going back to out. The internet keeps cutting out all the time. It's extremely slow, uh, and I'm really not a bigger fan of it at all yet. So but we're going to be keeping, uh, keeping both for quite a while. Got my new solar panel out there. I've got the car charging at the moment. Uh, the battery's a little bit low on that. I've got my new KT cables. Solar panel through on a white blanket. I've gone back to a blanket uh, on that. I'm just trying that. Uh, I've got one of them. Bought that from Anaconda. It was about 700 bucks. I think I covered that. It was about, about a thousand bucks. I signed up as a club member and it gave me 300 bucks discount pretty much. So not too bad. So the reason I'm doing that is that the kick ass panels are awesome. I get sort of anywhere between 15 to 17 amps uh, per panel. I've got two of them at the moment. Absolutely wicked, but they are just big, they are heavy. Um, so I'm just sort of trying to cut down a bit of weight, cut down a bit of just everything. This new van is so freaking neat and organized and I absolutely love it. So I'm um, doing that so fast. So I've got the car going on that and I've got the kick-ass. I bought one kick-ass panel here with us and I've got the KT cables one. So I'm sort of comparing the two there, but I've got the kick-ass one hooked up to the van here. Hasn't been the most ideal. The sun sort of comes out and then it goes away. So it hasn't been the most best uh, solar day today, but to give you an example, the, right now, it's been probably this. I've been having the aircon going for five and a half hours now, um, I, and my battery's gone down one percent. So <laughs> that's freaking amazing for quite a while there, just from the soul off the roof of the van uh, the, for the limited time it got it and the panel. I'll sort of run the aircon plus put in about 40 to 45 amps back in the battery bank. It's not very often that I that I win stuff, and Michaela got some. Uh, they did the raffle draw last night, and the first uh, ticket to get drawn out was uh, was mine. <laughs> I won. Uh, I got to go up there. I was the first person that had like. There was probably a hundred different things there, no joke that you could uh, that you could choose from. So I uh, ended up grabbing. A, there was like TVs, uh, generators, and stuff. I uh, didn't want to be that guy. I don't need a generator. There's other people out there. I've got my own bloody generator power power plants <laughs> on board. But I got some. Uh, there was actually a pack of uh, Easy Anchor pegs up there. So I grabbed some. Uh, grabbed some more of them because uh, I've been really really stoked with them uh, so far. But I always I needed a couple extra. So I got a fresh bag, some fresh Easy Anchors. Bloody stoked. Hope you're enjoying today's episode. We want to take a quick moment to let you guys know what we offer for you on our website. We've got a full range of traveling campers merch. We've got men's, women's, kids tees, and we've even got some hoodies and stickers as well. We've also got information about our setup and we've also got a full detailed rundown on there of how we've gone from back in the day for being fallen for a while to rarely traveling to now traveling full time. We share absolutely everything on there with how we've done it. And there's an opportunity in there if it interests you uh, to check it all out. And maybe even in 2023 is the year to make a change for you. You can jump on there, go through a quick, uh, a quick process or jump in the DMs on our social media. You'll be in contact with our personal assistants and we're about to help you guys out. Now we don't ask for much, but take a quick second to jump on. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like. Also drop a comment below of what your favorite part of the episode was. And you can also turn the little bell reminder so you don't miss any moments of traveling campers. Thanks so much guys, enjoy the rest of the episode. Well, today's a bloody good day. We've been staying down here, uh, one of our good mates' private property, and he's got a little bit of a professional motocross track laid out the front. There's a little bit of a rain last night, and I'm just like, I cannot, I cannot go leave here without going for a bit of a spin. So that's the first sort of official ride uh, I've had since doing my knee, which has just about been 12 months ago. So again, it is early, uh, kind of, uh, for where I'm at the moment, but I was just sort of cruising around, 
It's mainly right-hand turns. So just when I was going around the left-hand turns, it wasn't for my foot down. Uh, even though it's strong enough if I have to, but I was just being extra careful. But man, I've been waiting so freaking long for that. Seeing this bike sitting there, uh, to be able to get out and go for a spin around a sick track. Um, I'm stoked. I just cannot wait to the next couple of months to be able to get, oh, George is down there, uh, get bigger and stronger and uh, back to how it was and just uh, get out and enjoy this thing. Well, we've got nice, uh, nice, pretty much uh, clear skies today down in Melbourne here, which is, it's been pretty good to be honest, uh, the last sort of couple of weeks here, but again, typical Melbourne weather, it's uh, definitely, definitely hit and miss, and a lot of the times are uh, pretty cloudy, but we've got the Starlink set up here again, as you guys know, I said, we've sort of had it for, had it for over a month now, and been trying it, and uh, we haven't had too many different scenarios yet, but, but enough to try and get it, uh, to get a little bit of a verdict. As you seen the other day, the, uh, the caravan park, well, out down in Beechworth there, uh, there was obstructions, there was trees as well. And look, I had a few people, because look, my honest opinion so far, it isn't, it isn't too, it isn't too crash hot, just from experience, my personal experience. And I had a couple of people uh, reach out in the story, it's like, and I was sort of saying, it's like, no, you gotta make sure the, you gotta make sure the skies are clear. You can't have, you, you can't, it's not gonna work in trees. You can't have obstructions, I'm like, that's the point <laughs> that's the exact point is this is the thing uh with you know with the obviously these runs off uh runs off satellite is uh we don't always travel in clear open skies in a big paddock like, like this so we like getting into the bush all this sort of stuff and this is why it makes sense now that i've seen uh other people out there do youtube they had this they've got this uh got starlink uh where they've gone and had to drive into town to upload YouTube episodes and all that sort of stuff uh, because it wouldn't work uh, out in the bush. So with it out here in the open, it's been uh, it's been working pretty good. So, but again, we don't always uh, go in these places. And one one uh, one thing I noticed is the the speed test I did on the Starlink app to compare to the normal speed test app that Jet generally use, I found was uh was we had quite different results. So I found that sort of pretty pretty interesting. But again, it's still. I think my my gut sort of feeling from the start was, you know, if we had both systems, both Starlink and the Out of the Internet, I know the Out of the Internet's gonna work, I know it's gonna work once we're in tree cover, uh, all that sort of stuff is, you know, once you sort of start going remote, again, like, I think, like, you know, middle Australia, desert stuff, all that, um, you know, remote beaches and stuff, this is gonna be absolutely amazing. Uh, the other thing is also as well, is I know people are sort of getting, getting pretty uh, technical with cutting holes in the vans and you know all that sort of stuff because they've got a special lead on them and at this stage you can't have like a little RJ45 thing like the um like the out the internet which I'm sure someone's going to do something soon because as soon as you met sort of mess with the cable uh the styling cable now your warranty's gone uh all this sort of stuff because it's a pretty special one so at the moment so I've seen people do put them through roof hatches got it up through the window there which is it's shit it's absolute uh it's absolute shit but again I'm not while I'm still playing around with this, I'm not going to go and do um, a, a, the big pole setup, all that sort of stuff. It's too much gear to carry around. The idea of the Starlink for us at the moment is to have it as just a, a portable, where we sort of just pull it out, chuck it on the ground so we can move it around and try and get the best spot for it. But look, so far, it's kind of been, it's very hit and miss, especially when we're at a, you know, a caravan park. You don't have 10, 5, five 10 meters to go and just put it out. Uh, in the open, especially if you're on a, you know, a tightish caravan park with trees on, on top of you. So what I'm going to do is again, this is just a, like just our first little sort of experience with it. But as we uh, as we keep going around, I'm going to be doing uh, speed tests, all different sorts of um, all sorts of different you know tree cover, clouds, all this sort of stuff. Sort of just um, you know compare the two because I think the ultimate outcome outcome for us is going to be probably to have both. Um, but I'm not, I'm not too sure. But I'm really really excited uh, to go through that with you and share it with you guys. Well, a time down. <laughs> George is ready to go. Our time down here in Melbourne uh, is basically we're done for now. We're, get, we're st starting to head back to Madura uh, today because the the car is going in to get some panel damage fixed up, which is so pretty much the whole car is getting a, a massive makeover. So uh, we'll show you. It's going to look absolutely brand new. 
uh, after that. But it's been crazy down here. We've been, it's what, been that six weeks now? Yeah, it has been about six weeks. It's been amazing, like absolutely awesome. Yeah, so much has happened. Like we've, um, what have we done? We did, uh, we got the car uh, all serviced. The guys are on track, did an amazing job there. Got the auto lever kit put in for suspension, which uh, which have been absolutely loving. Got the rear diff lock fixed, so all that is done. Uh, what we did, we built a new caravan, so which are absolutely friggin' stoked with. Absolutely love it. It's been so good just moving into it and having the motorbike back on the front like even though the motorbike is for Josh and I don't ride it it's just been so good it just feels like us again like last year having the push bikes on the front of our old van like just it just didn't feel right but yeah it's just so good new setup and ready to go it's good yeah that's it's been epic and look we've again we've moved in we did a five-day caravan show down at Melbourne there which is absolute love so spent a fair bit of time in the city got our uh, old, old van uh, all done up that's been on a ship now over to Perth so all it's been a lot in it. We've done thousands of Ks just from in and out of the friggin' city. Driving so. around Melbourne, yeah. <laughs> it's just hectic, but we're done now. We're wrapped up. It's been it's been so worth it. So I feel like once this car is done, uh, get its all its paint job and all that sort of stuff done, then in a couple of weeks, well then we're we're back to just like having all of our stuff <laughs> good, just us. George is excited <laughs> down okay. there, and then we're just. You know, we're free now anyway, yeah, but I feel like we'll like... just be able to just be not near the city. We can just go out, find a little spot in the bush, a little fire, and just do nothing for a bit. <laughs> That's what I feel like doing. Whoa. <sighs> Maybe if I never been like that. Whoa. What are they? Are they recording? Oh, yeah. Just come back from eating a waiter or whatever they'd suck on her blood, I don't know, that's a leech. I'm like, what the heck are ticks? I didn't even know, oh, I knew of, I knew what ticks were, but I didn't really, I'm a silhouette. I'm a silhouette. Um, whoa, that's really close. Uh, I just want to point out, this tick twister even has a golden retriever on the packet. 